What the fuck was that? No! Welcome back. Hello. I'm a fan. I'm a little fan. Isn't she cute? It goes to five levels. Not sponsored. My hair is looking crazy. Ignore, ignore, ignore. Okay, moving on. Um, if you see my, don't talk. We don't speak of that. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a minute. Life has been really kicking my ass. Not lately, for the past month actually. July was the worst fucking month of my life. I am going to be talking about. If you haven't seen from the title, I'm going to be talking about drums and drummers and drummers I like. Probably okay, disclaimer. The way people are, I know how people are. So listen up. These are my favorite drummers. It's they don't have to be the best drummers ever. Oh my drink. I've been practicing practicing not yet. I've been learning the basics of drumming. I didn't know drumming had math. You might be like, what is? What you mean? Like, drumming has math. Yes, drumming has math. Yeah. But I just wanted to go over my favorite drummers because I feel like some of these. There's only one that obviously he's one of the best drummers that I've ever heard and has been. I have been listening to him specifically for a good minute, for like a good ten plus years. Yo no sé. Ya, yo no sé. Yo no sé qué carajo va a pasar ahora. Mi pelo está grasoso. So give me a second. Okay. If it's not obvious, come on. If it's not obvious, come on. <sighs> Jay Weinberg from Slipknot, our past member of Slipknot now, because it's been a eight plus months that he's been to the curve, which I think it's, I'm not gonna get into it because I have my own opinions on it. Eloy, I think his name is, or Eloy, Eloy, the new drummer. He's, he's good, he's good. Uh, just it's not my typical drumming style that he has that I fuck with but do your thing shit you made it into slim not do your thing but oh, Jay Weinberg is my number one drumming person that has got me gotten me into basically drumming um, juice break or not actually this is vitamin water continuing my favorite album from Slipknot is always going to be We Are Not Your Kind specifically the drumming in that album compared to like the obviously uh, Joey's drumming from past albums because I know that that album was Jay was in it he's the one who actually you know was a part of the album to produce the drumming uh, parts or whatever like he's my number one drummer and he's such a cutie and has a lisp he has a lisp I found out that he has a lisp mm lisps and he's a fucking crazy drummer like the kicks yeah the kicks go crazy the kicks are crazy because the consistency of staying in one specific like note I mean, I've seen all of his fucking uh, drum cams, like every single song that he's ever like uh, posted on his YouTube channel. Because why would I not? And I've been watching other drummers too that we're gonna get into. So moving on, this okay. So this drummer has been my favorite drummer for a hot minute now, for the past couple months actually. Um, Baby J, Josh Miller. Um, from Darko, but he was also in Emer. I go see. You don't know say how say I don't know how to say it. That word. I, this word. In this band, he was a drummer. Uh, he left in 2020 to pursue his um, project with Tom Barber from Chelsea Grin to create Darko US, and he is an insane drummer. This person is. Chef Kiss. He's also not just a drummer, he plays a guitar. But he plays a guitar with nine strings. I love Baby J. He's my favorite. I love him. And he's amazing. And Darko is the fucking craziest band to ever exist. I don't care what anybody says. If you don't like Darko, 
Pues vete para el carajo. If you haven't checked out Darko US, what are you doing? If you're a metal hand, what are you doing? What are you doing? Like, clearly, what are you doing? Living a rock? If you like extreme, like, extreme, like, banshee noises or Cthulhu noises or even fucking alien siren noises, this band, I'm telling you, this band is crazy. This band is so creative and it's one of my favorite. He's, they've, been in my, they've been my favorite for the past couple months and I've been wanting to talk about uh, Darko. I was gonna rec I recorded another video speaking about more bands that I've getting that I've gotten into or have been listening to for the past couple months or a year or so. Narcos in that list, but I never really posted it. I never really even edited it. I recorded it. I just didn't want to deal with it. But I was like, I've been into drumming more than usual because I've always loved to drum. I've always loved to drum. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> yeah, you just hitting the drums like that. No, I always loved the tambaras, like the drums, like this. It's really, um, los tambores is what we would call it, I think. Si no me recuerdo, I forgot. But in Puerto Rico, los tambores are really like, it's a really big tradition for the Puerto Rican culture to have a tambor. And my mom, my grandma used to have one just like this. I used to just be like, mm, 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 mm. you know what I'm saying? I was like crazy. I was like, I like this. I like this. I like this. I like that this boom boom sound is making noise when I'm hitting it. What is this object? I want it. I need it. For me, I feel like as an adult now, I'm actually trying to get into drumming because I could never. I was never. I don't think I was ever allowed to drum or like get into instruments. I just think my parents they really give a fuck. They were like, bitch, we don't care. We don't got time to be taking you to your instrument like practices or your your like contests and stuff. But like they were the type of parents and I really give a fuck about, about those things. So I actually even like try to let their child do something uh creatively with an instrument. But I've always been fascinated even with the bass. Literally the i I've been fascinated with the bass and the drums since fucking long as I remember. But the drums are like my number one thing that I always wanted to learn. But the bass too were like it's just funky, like, mm, like, like for me, the bass is really important to to keep the. People are gonna think it's stupid, but for me, bass creates the music. It's like a bowl. It's like all the music else is like the music, but like the bass is the bowl that holds it all together. In my opinion, I don't know if you guys kind of weird for me, I guess. Well, not for me, but for people. Where like my my husband and I, whenever I like sing a song or whatever, I literally play the drum. Like I'd be like, like singing the drums and the like guitar. You know what I mean? Okay, for like the beginning of uh, Breathless by Asking Alexandra. In the beginning, James Cazell, which is in this list too, because he's the little baby. I love him. The beginning is. I always do I always try to practice other parts of the instruments in the song so I can like put it together so like I can be like singing the song like vibing with it and I could just be like oh this part's gonna come on and I go dur -dur -dur. just to vibe with it I don't know it's weird my husband be like how do you know that thought was gonna happen and I'm like it's a lot of things you don't know about me that I can do I like to deep dive in music and music is really important to me so when First, I always said this. I've always wanted to be an instru or instrument. I've always wanted to be a musician. But for me, like now, the way I see it, it's kind of like, mm, it's kind of too late. You can't really try to pursue your music career or dream or whatever. Because I like to sing, and I've been wanting to get into instruments to learn more, you know, about uh, in, like individual instruments. But um, I always wanted to sing. I can sing. I love to sing. But um, yeah, I just, I guess I'll just stick with my writing because I'm also an author but I love to sing but I don't consider myself a singer but I like to sing you know what I mean maybe <laughs> Jay's drumming in Darko what I noticed in my list and I've actually rewatched before making this video I've rewatched a couple drummings from each member or each person that I put on the list their drumming style it's completely different from each other but they're also just as good as each other
like I love that each drummer has their own individual style to bring a different vibe to the band and to the song that they're doing or whatever like Darko really is the shit I'm sorry I'm so sorry Darko is the shit Darko is the literal actual shit I used to be that bitch trust me and when I was like middle school where like I would only handle certain scream and screaming music like asking like Johnny Drew back when like Danny used to be really good with his throat before he fucked it up. Bringing the Horizon and Asking Alexandria were like the most, most heaviest bands I used to listen to. And then I was like, bro, this is the heaviest shit I've ever heard. Then reality hit me where like this more crazier fucking lunatic, like ludicrous type of fucking bands out there that are chef kiss. 100%. 100%. Suicide Silence used to be the heaviest that I could listen to. I was like, bro, this shit is fucking crazy. Like, this shit is like, um, you only live once, YOLO, by Suicide Silence was like the song that I was like, yeah, this is like the heaviest I would listen to. And then I was introduced to Lorna Shore, and then I was like, oh, what is this? Before I actually explored more into uh, what you guys call deathcore, because I know that uh, y'all people, I be stressed. Uh, listen to me, I be stressed when people be fucking dividing and like fucking categorizing genres of rock i'm like please i don't get it please all these bands are amazing i don't care if it's if it's new metal if it's screamo if it's fucking deathcore if it's black metal like just random fucking metal music like i get it don't cater they're all metal they're all like they're all together but they're divided still but people be so like mm. Ew, brother, y'all be weird about it. Y'all be so excessive. As long as the music's still heavy, the band is still heavy. It's still metal. Like if it's poppy or jazzy, it's different. That's a different genre. But if it's still heavy metal, it's still metal music. Moving on, James Cazell's. Come on, you know how does he say it? He says, "Hi, I'm James, and I play the drums." Uh, I'm James. I play drums. And I'm James. I play drums. this design it has this creativity of 
I think the reason why I fuck with him and I think his style of drumming is completely different and cool is he doesn't just play the drums. He has like other equipment that he's like messing with and like tapping and shit and other little like uh looks like I don't know what it is, but it makes noise. It's like a block that he has on top of his drum set that he hits it and it's like a each time he hits it. But it's not a it's not a drum like the discs of the drums. It's like a block of something that makes noise. I don't know what it is. But I think that instrument's super cool. I like the the stuff the little techie stuff he has on the side with his instruments. I'm like, mm, I like this. This is my lavender like night night my little night night spray, but this little night night spray don't do nothing. She's right. Little Wally, he's super cool, super cool. But um, moving on to the next drummer, he's more of a newer drummer. And if you saw it coming, you saw it coming. Come on, you can't tell me a hundred percent. You can't tell me a hundred percent that Simon. Crayon, uh, Sean Crayon's son, who is in Vended or Vended, um, his drumming and Dead to Me, chef kiss. I don't do that. Like as soon as I heard that song and I heard the drumming, I was like, "Yep, who is this man? I need to investigate this band. I need to investigate in that drummer. What is this? Give me it all. Give out. Give it to me. All of it. All of it. All the drum cams. All the like." Um, tutorial videos how to play a certain song or a certain part of a song give it all to me all of it that's my favorite thing and i love that so when i found out that vinted was um a group uh, basically a rock band of containing two uh sons of slipknot um members cory taylor obviously his son is griffin taylor which is the vocalist or the frontman of vinted and then the other two members, no, the other three members, oh my god, uh, JJ, Cole, and I can't remember the last guy's name. Vinded is a really cool band, and it's different, and it's like, it's like a newer version of Slipknot, but it's not, it's not the same, it gets the same vibe, because there, there are, there are parts, guitar parts that are super similar, but it's just super, just, it's just fight music, it just, like, it just makes you want to like, just start swinging in the pit. 100%, 100%. Simon's drumming is pretty cool. It's different and it's intense. Uh, the kicks, his kicks are fucking sick, dude. His kicks, bro. today's video um and comment like subscribe <sighs> i'm trying to get back into this groove trust me july july kicked my ass dude patient with me okay i'm still trying to pick myself back up <laughs> i've had a shitty fucking month and it's stressful with work and bills and etc etc and you know life you know we're going through it but we're thriving we're thriving we're thriving and we're what's it what's the word it's like we're suffering but we're thriving that's how we feel it. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys later and see you.
See you next video. Bye.